Imagine a tool where you can describe exactly the kind of model you want, get a few suggestions, refine the result you want, and end up with a fully textured and really good looking model. Next, you can add a few guiding points and rig your model in less than two minutes. And you guessed it, today we're gonna talk about such a tool. The name is Meshi, and it blew me away when I first used the new animation feature. To be able to generate a decent model is one thing, but being able to generate a fully accurate textured model, this is a different level that we have not seen before. But to top that with auto rigging as well, well, this is just impressive. They also just released Meshi 4, their latest AI model, which is capable of delivering even more details, more quality, faster speed, and improved workflow all across the board. This video is, of course, sponsored by Meshi, but everything said here is our own. My aim here to give you an honest overview of features offered by this tool. With that out of the way, what is Meshi AI really? Well, Meshi is an online platform, software, or something like that. Definitely powered by AI and allows you to create fully textured and fully rigged characters with so many options and controls that I don't think this video will be enough to go through. But I'll try to showcase the important stuff. Now, it is not like I'm not aware of the stigma around AI and how it is itching every day to take over our industry. But I honestly didn't see anyone being put out of business due to AI in 3D. In my opinion, art and art related fields are some of the most future proof industries. And AI will only be a tool to help you as an artist achieve your goal. But more on that later. Now, Meshi. When you first sign up and log into Meshi, you'll be greeted by an assortment of featured models, and all of these models you are seeing right now were generated using the software. And I don't think anyone can argue about the quality of these models, at least not initially. From a visual standpoint, they look absolutely stunning. Inspecting these models, you can see relevant information like the prompt used to generate the model, the AI model, the art style, and various other info such as face and vertices count, and the 3D preview itself provides controls over the lighting and materials. You can also download the model and remix it, which is essentially just copying all the settings to a new prompt where you can adjust those initial settings to your liking. But I am getting ahead of myself here. Meshi has four AI tools, Text to 3D, Image to 3D, AI Texturing, and Text to Voxel. Text to Voxel, I think, is a new one because the last time we created a video about it, I mean Meshi, I don't remember there was a voxel option here. So Text to 3D, as the name suggests, is a way to create 3D models through text prompts, but that does not give you the whole picture, does it? As Meshi provides more than just a 100 character prompt. For example, you can pick the Model Explorer and browse through the available models to use as a starting point to build upon. And you can use the prompt library, where you can pick styles, materials, characters, details, and so on from a list of options. The one I found most interesting is to extract a prompt from an image. You upload an image, and the AI will try to decipher all the elements in the image, in the style, the shape, the lighting, materials, and so on. You can pick between different AI models, mainly Meshi 4 and Meshi 3 Turbo, because these two have different styles. The last one, the Meshi 4 AI model, only comes with three styles, which are realistic, sculpture, and PBR, while Meshi 3 Turbo, well, has more styles. However, Meshi 4 is the latest and the most advanced model. Meshi 3 Turbo is the fastest with a bit of fewer details. However, I personally, in my testing, prefer it over the fourth, just because it provides me with the textured model right out of the box, instead of having the texturing as the extra step. So you type a prompt, pick an art style, and hit generate, and four results will be generated. You can then click on any of them to preview, and whichever one you like, you can texture. After a few seconds or minutes, depending on the model's complexity, a fully textured model will be generated. And this is the gist of how you can use the software. You provide input, describe what you need, pick a style, and generate the result. If you don't like the result, you can regenerate to get even better results. And under the 3D viewport or preview window, you have a list of options like wireframe or material mode, in addition to display settings and texture settings, where you can adjust the roughness or metalness of the texture. And you can use AI texture editing, where you can retexture part of the mesh using AI. 
You can also have smart healing, which allows you to repair part of your texture. And lastly, my favorite, animation. Animation is what gave me the AI meme look. At first, I was like, this is amazing. And then I was like, we are screwed. But honestly, the animation feature will help you rig all kinds of characters. Mainly humanoid characters and quadruped dogs. I'm not sure why dogs specifically, but the cat begin is coming soon. I think it has something to do with the type of movement, although I feel like if you can rig a dog, you can rig a cat. But that's beside the point. I have this character that I generated. Choose animation and hit next. And make sure the height is correct by adjusting the height slider. Center and rotate the character using the offset and rotate sliders. But you want the character to be in a T or an A pose, otherwise the rigging will not work. Next you will have a bunch of markers similar to what you can see in Mixamo. One for the chin, shoulders, elbow, knees and so on. And if the model isn't perfectly symmetrical, you can disable symmetry and move each marker independently. Now all you need to do is wait for the rig to be generated. It is actually crazy that you can generate a character, rig it, and apply an animation to it in less than 2 minutes. But if it is, this is gonna be very powerful. I will let you try Meshi for yourself, because you can do that for free. And I think you can get 200 credits when you sign up. So just follow the link down in the description. Now for image to 3D, you provide an image and let Meshi turn it into a 3D model. This works really well, especially if your subject is clearly visible with a solid background behind it. The AI texturing will take a model and attempt to texture it based on a prompt. So you can upload a model, describe the texture you want and hit generate. And here you can pick between multiple art styles like realistic, cartoony, line art, etc. And you can choose to generate the original UVs, generate PBR maps, pick a texture resolution, and choose a specific seed value. The AI texturing tool is alright, but I don't know if it is just me or I'm not using it correctly, but I wasn't impressed by the results. The anime and cartoon styles works pretty well, but I don't think the realistic presets are ready yet. Lastly, in the text of Voxel, and you might have guessed it, instead of a 3D model, you get a voxel model made out of voxels, which makes sense. And these are small cubes, similar to what you can find in Minecraft. I mean the video game. And now let's talk pricing. Meshi uses a credit system, so you're gonna buy credits. And you will use this credit throughout the platform to generate models, refine and texture them. And to be honest, I don't have to tell you, but I don't like this way of pricing. However, the website offers a free plan with 200 credits per month, Pro for $16, Max for $48, and Max Unlimited for $96 if you choose to pay yearly and save 20%. But if you want to pay monthly, it's gonna be $20, $60, and $120 respectively. So yeah, this is it. Meshi AI and let us know in the comment section what you think about this platform. And by the way, Meshi also hosts a lot of in-house challenges. Like right now, there is a hard surface model challenge going on where you need to generate the best hard surface models using Meshi AI. If you want to check out Meshi and learn more about these features and pricing, please click the links down in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.